There we go. So, uh, we got a brand new, brand new exhaust for the Yamaha 660 right here. And that thing is going to replace that thing. Told you in a previous video I had the MBRP on the YAM in between. But it's not allowed in Federated Trails, so I had to order a new OEM one. And as we can see, the OEM doesn't come with any deflector like this stuff and this stuff. So I'm going to try to get the part from this one on the new one. And also the exhaust tip is not there on the OEM part. So we're going to take the other one, which is still there on the old unit. And I had a screw missing because the inside was like broken and stuff. So I hope I'm going to be able to extract it. And that thing did explode somewhere right there. There is a hole. And that was because I had a ignition coil issue. And I had a lot of backfires up to the point that the exhaust exploded at some point. So we're going to try to get that out. So the first thing I'm going to try to clean a little bit the parts there. To see if I can. I didn't clean up because I was using the MBRP and not planning to reuse the old one. The fact is, I need the old stuff. Because that's reusable. So that's the screw holding. There is a little plastic holding that's going to go in the hole that's not even there. So that part I'm going to have to extract in a way or another and get it. Seem to be like a bearing a little bit to get back in that place. But first, Clean up time, a little bit of mud and stuff. So let's go over it. And to try to recover as much as we can. The explosion that blew. The stuff even did move that metallic part out a little bit. I hope it's gonna be okay on the new one. Something like that. That part of the exhaust is also the heat shield. It's not on the OEM, so that's another part that we're gonna have to try to recover. But that's very well rusted, so I don't know. We are going to give it a try. That's just glass cleaner. And I'm gonna go on the screws with some magic, magical W40. Hopefully, that will do the job. So that will be it. So that's a Philips screwdriver and that's going to need some WD-40 because it's a little bit rusty. And the same right here. And on the other side too, and maybe on that stuff too. Be 
something to get out. So that ring right there, I need to move out fun part of this. This is welded on and there is no screw on the new part. So for that, I think I'm going to reuse the brand new stuff. Oh no, okay, that's the part that is coming with it, so that's cool. Okay, we're good. So, yeah, my, I guess it was 10, 12 sockets that we can lose. All right, let's start to see how we go, what we can get out of that mess. It's a mess because it's an old stuff. Oh, I forgot to spray the Allen key. Well, the exhaust tip on this side, I'm missing one, but these were okay last time I cleaned it up, so there's a hole there, because the tip is not with the device as well. We're gonna give it a try and see where we go. Guess work. <laughs> That's so rusted that the screw is not even coming. So that's bigger than ten. I will guess. Let's take a bigger one. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Not all the same. Small one. It's moving anywhere.
Uh, that thing is kind of exploded. Not halfway, eh? just fully exploded. Holy oh, crap. I'm gonna need some new sickles like that. I'm gonna go to the shop tomorrow. Because <coughs> I can't continue without these to mount back on the ATV, which is not a big deal. Everybody new. Come on, give it a try. It's going to be a fit. Okay, I'll leave it there. This side, I have no choice. Same crap. So we go again. Another one to buy, and then we get the last one, and then we have to cut the screws, which is going to be another story, because it's going to be another story. Let's go. We're on a good path. Oh, see, that's that. We need some lubricant. <coughs> While I'm cutting the other part of it. So that's another nasty one that I think will not come out. We can try. salvage this one or the screw is going to leave as well you know it's going out all right maybe one of these colors is going to do the job push back Ready to cut. <laughs> oh, good. This one is safe. Not bad. Come on, buddy. Well, saved. Yeah, that's okay. Should do. Somehow. That works. Cool. Whew. That's something. Now we have all these little screws. And we have that part to extract as well, which I have no idea exactly. About. Oh, it's moving. Maybe we can just push it. I will be able to tap it out. 
with some stuff. Maybe. Okay. Oh, no gloves anymore. I'm very bad at gloves. Just kill them, kill them all the time. Thing is going out again. The stuff. Okay, let's have another ride. At this. that out shit well did the job one less perfect all gonna be putting some new screws there it's gonna be good okay two more to go Got it. Okay. One to go. So I'm drilling these screws because they're all rusted and they move out. Oh, we got it. All right. Ooh. Sorry. Little insulation. Okay. So there is that. There's another stuff stuck on it. Too bad to get out that thing. Cool! By itself. There we Is there it should go in there and this actually should do something like that if I got it right which I hope to get the tip out so is this gonna be no is this gonna be that no, that's the Imperial, and it's gonna be metric. So that's Yama, which is good. I, I was French, so metric is good for me. Good, that's the one. All right, come on, buddy. You can see that I did unmount that stuff not long ago, so it's actually coming fairly easily. And I have an extra screw to mount on the new one, which is going to be easy. Bring that stuff all but okay, not bad. Oh, that's the one! Holy, yeah! Beautiful! A little bit of clean-up. Not going to be as shiny new as the other one. That's another spare part you need, you know how it goes. This way, I'm not sure. Maybe if you just tap it out, 
Trying to get that thing out, the part that hangs. Not an easy one. So I need to rub that stuff well, at first. I'm gonna see if I can wrap that device to try to get that stuff in. It's not sitting well. Bed. So went to Home Depot and bought some new parts to hold the heat shield on the device. No, we don't manage to remove the sticker, so we're going to be deep. We're going to burn it. Getting there. Oh, well, good. By the way, I also did put back the tip yesterday, the original one, because this is done, not coming with the OEM exhaust. And I had a dead screw, so I had, a, I had a new spare. So we're good with that. All right. Actually, that's not exactly centered, so we're gonna have to tighten it a little bit. Move it just a bit. Next step is the other heat shield. This is going to get there. Okay, that should do the trick. That's the part. I had to 
springs yesterday as well. So insulation is not top notch, but that should do. I assume this is going like that. like that something like this I have to hold this I'll take some screws let start with that stuff that one wasn't dead that one was definitely dead I had to cut it as well because it was rusted so another Home Depot victory. Get this clamp. Just to see how it's gonna hold. It's as good. There's not much play here, so I'm just gonna wrap it. I'm gonna see if I miss space or whatever. It should do. Not moving anymore. Good. Try the other one. That's the OEM. Let's see if it still does the job. Ah, it's a Philips one. I get a spare just in case. Let's see if I can avoid using it. Moving out, good. Alright. Ha! By the way. Okay, and now we need some screws to all that stuff. This one can keep a spare, and that's one that one goes to trash. Trash, trash. I'm gonna take longer screws than you originally one, but they come from, uh, I believe, solar panel attached, and they should do the work. Uh, it should do it, and I believe. Uh, let's see what size it is. I believe ten as well. Ain't going anywhere. <laughs> All right. So the beast is ready, and we're gonna unhook the other one. Let's give this a try. In the side panel. Welcome to the other exhaust. I'm BRP. And BRP that I'm gonna have to take out sadly. It was good, but Forbidden. It is not the load on the trail. It looks like we know what we're doing, but we're not really, you know. Who is the animal that overtight that stuff? That was me. the bolt out. With the spacer that comes with it, I don't want to lose it. Alright. And now pop the thing out. 
Get in there. Nice and BFP. Almost brand new. He's out. Sadly. That's, it is. That's where I had to fight to get the exhaust off and taking the OEM screw out. Here it comes, baby screw. Now we need to put the big pipe back. That's loose. Let's see. OEM pipe that we just rebuilt. Not like an engine rebuild, of course. Alright. Alright. That seems to be happy. So we're going to screw that back. catch the hole which is a little bit above okay got it there we go Tight, but not over tight. Now the big guy. Let's have to move a little bit forward. We are tightening the exhaust on this the on. I don't want any leaks. So there is a little insulation ring that come out of the old pipe that I forget to put in the new one, which I didn't know. So I'm gonna unscrew that, put it back, and see how it goes. Damn crap. I didn't know, but definitely. So I did spare you the insert of the joint right there of the ring. And I'm gonna start it up now. So I did unscrew it and basically re-screw it. Just pull the muffler out a little bit just to insert the isolation. And let's go. That's way better! Exhaust back. As 
been quite uh, something finally. That's the dead one. So to show you how bad it was. Otherwise, how, how bad it was. Out of an explosion, eh? So. Happy I got that one back. And the MBRP, which I might sell later on. MBRP sitting right there. I buy MBRP. Too noisy, illegal on the Quebec trails. So, thank you all. I'm gonna put back everything together but the seed and all but that's just nothing so great amazing got it thank you for watching